I'm going to show you 15 different materials that I foiled with the foil quill and the results that I got. With all the materials, I am using Spellbinders Glimmer Foil in various different colors. I will show on the screen which colors I used, what quill point I used, and what settings I used on the maker. That way I can keep the video somewhat short. So first up we have Satin Ribbon. And I think that this did fairly well. It missed a little bit here on the top of the H. I'm not sure if my quill wasn't warm enough or if I had a wrinkle in the foil or what the deal was, but other than that, it foiled beautifully, I think. And then next we have some acetate, this some stamp packaging that I had laying around. And I think this did beautifully as well. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera for you guys, but I think it did a really great job. It's shiny and beautiful, and it did great. Next up, I have some aluminum foil. Um, it's not like food foil, it's a uh, thicker aluminum. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that. That's my cat scratching on one of those cardboard scratchers. Um, I don't know if you can see the little, yeah, I think you can, the little circles. That's what I was trying to foil. Um, the lines going this way is where I ripped it off my mat. But this was a complete fail. There's no foil on this whatsoever. But this is a thicker like aluminum you can get in the craft section. I got this at Hobby Lobby in a roll. But this didn't work at all. I tried various different settings on the maker, uh, different pressures and whatnot. So this was a complete fail. And then we have some glitter paper. This is a no shed glitter and it has an adhesive backing. I got it at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they still carry this or not. <clears throat> I think this did very well as well. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. It looks like you can see it. It's very fun, sparkly, shiny. It did great. Next up we have some vellum. And I used a black foil for this so it just kind of looks like writing. It's kind of a matte foil but this did very well as well. And then I have a printable magnet sheet. This turned out pretty. It did a great job too. Then I have some craft foam, and I don't know if it's because I have a, I think this is three millimeter craft foam. I don't know if it was because my craft foam is really thick or what the deal was, but this came out very distressed looking. So it did adhere, but it didn't, didn't adhere very well. So I don't know if I'd really call this a fail, but I wouldn't call it a success either. And I have some black cotton fabric. And this turned out very well. I like it, it's shiny, it's pretty. However, I will note, I don't know if this is gonna happen with all of the foils or if it was just the Spellbinders foil, but it does scratch off. So I wouldn't put it on something that is going to get a lot of wear and tear. I did it on another piece that I had put the tape over part of the design on accident. I misjudged. And when I took the tape off and it went to cut the design, I hadn't moved the white rollers to the side. And so as the rollers went over the design, <clears throat> it scratched off some of the design. So just something to keep in mind. And I have some organza, and this turned out very pretty. 
And I think this probably would have the same problem as the cotton where it's going to scratch off, but I don't want to scratch at it because I have a project in mind for this. I'll probably be doing another video where I use some of these materials in some cards and whatnot. So I don't want to scratch at this, but I think this turned out really pretty. Next up, since I was doing fabric, I have some fabric stashed in my uh, sewing room. So I thought, well, let's try some minky. This obviously was a fail. <laughs> Um, so only part of my design went on here because the foil quill ripped through the foil part way through and destroyed it. Also, it has no shininess to the foil at all. It just kind of like stained the fabric in like this mustard yellow color instead of gold. So yeah, it's a fail. <laughs> That didn't work well at all. I didn't really have high hopes for it though. But what did surprise me is that jean material did not work either. It also just kind of stained the fabric and didn't really do much. Plus it scratches off really easy. So another fail. <laughs> then I had some Cricut felt that I decided I would try. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. So it does have a bit of a sheen to it, but it's really not that wow factor that you're looking for with foil, at least what I'm looking for with foil. And I went over this three times. I just took the blade out and just kept repeating the foiling process. That way it didn't cut and I didn't have to remove my foil. And it still just did not really, not really do it for me. And Cricut foil or Cricut felt comes in a package like this, or at least mine did. And I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I can't resist clearance sales. So, yeah, I don't know that I'd call it a fail, but I really wouldn't call it a success either. And then I had some leather. I had this little strip of leather that I decided I would try it out on. And so I didn't cut this on my Cricut Maker, but I mean, you can cut leather, but I didn't cut this because I just already had this strip. So that's why it's not centered and pretty. So this turned out really well, I think. Very pretty. I can see doing some fun projects with this. Next up, I have some basswood, and I stained this with Distress Stained in chipped sapphire first and let it dry overnight, and then I did the foiling and cut it on my maker. And I think this turned out really pretty. You can definitely see some fun projects with this. And last, but certainly not least, I got these fun, let me find it here on my messy desk, got these fun canvas boards, again, Hobby Lobby clearance. Uh, so they're five by seven canvas boards and they are 1.3 millimeters thick, I checked that with my calipers. So they're not very thick at all, oh, how, there we go. And I did an acrylic paint pour on top of it and then let it dry for a couple days. And then did the foiling. I had this SVG file. I can't remember off the top of my head where I got that from. But I'll probably link it in my blog post. And uh, <clears throat> I did a line fill with sure cuts a lot and then did the foiling on my Cricut. And the only problem that I had was I didn't tape it down well enough, my fault. And I turned my back on my machine. Again, my fault. Don't do that. And so while it was foiling, the foil ripped back, came loose from the tape, and folded over. And so this part right here didn't foil very well. And I didn't feel like doing the whole thing over again because when you do a line fill, it takes forever. So I didn't feel like doing it over again to refoil that one part. So I just decided I'd live with it. 
I think it turned out really pretty. So I will have all this information linked over in my blog post and we'll take some pictures so you can see that as well. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.